हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज विश्वनाथ चौहान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर नो आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन द आई ओ टी लेवल्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज द डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ आई ओ टी सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ आई ओ टी first we will have a glance on few terms which are focusing about the iot levels the first one the device so device is used for identification which is going to uh, sense the data which is say remote sensing actuators and monitoring of the parameters like temperature humidity etc so all these can be monitored with the help of the particular device the second term resource the resources which are used in iot levels are like software the actuators which are going to control and the network access etc next comes the controller service so this runs on the device and it interact with the web servers so it act as a interface between the device and the internet next comes database so here the database which stores the data which manages the data which performs the operations on the data so here like the cloud and the data generated by iot devices are kept on the cloud and database manages the data which is collected by different iot devices next comes web service so here the device and uh, the database uh, are connected through the web servers and the further analysis will be done on the data so we'll focus on different levels of iot the first one the iot level 1 so in this level the single node or device is used so here it may make use of the sensors or actuators so here the storage of data is there but which is in a small size reforms the data analysis will be done on the data so there is a, a small data not big and hence there is low complexity so under this level which supports for these features is the home automation so this is one example under iot level 1 so in home automation a single node is there which controls the light and the appliances so based on the electrical relay switches and there will be local database controller which operates based on the triggers and the devices are connected to the internet coming to next level 2 iot level 2 here single node will be there or actuation will be there so here the data is stored in cloud so the size of data is large as compared to level 1 here the size of data is large the example for iot level 2 is smart irrigation so in smart irrigation there will be a node which is going to monitor the moisture uh, moisture of soil so the level of moisture will be communicated further if the level of moisture decreases Uh, with respect to the fixed threshold 
then the irrigation system will be switched on. So, and hence it will be uh, monitor the irrigation system. So, web services is used here which stores the data which is used for storing, retrieving and further the decisions will be taken based on the data. So, think about this question and write the answer. Give the example of IoT application based on level 1 and level 2. So, pause this video and write your answer. So, the answer is IoT level 1 home automation, IoT level 2 smart irrigation. Next IoT level 3. So, here the single node will be there. So, data is stored and analyzed on cloud which is cloud based. So, on the cloud the data is stored which is large in number and further analysis will be done with the help of big data. So, big data analytics is required. So, the complexity of data is increasing here. So, the data involved is big and analysis requirement computationally intensive. So, example for this IoT level 3 is tracking package handling. So, this system it monitors the vibrations of the object. If the vibration level is high, if it increases with respect to the fixed threshold, then the appropriate action will be taken. So, it sends the data to the cloud so that further action will be taken. So, there will be alert message which indicates that the vibrations count is high. Coming to next level which is IoT level 4. So, here the multiple nodes are there. So, here the data is stored in cloud as compared to the previous and the local and cloud, cloud based server observers are there. So, these nodes which observes the data which are generated by different nodes. So, data involving in this is big and hence big data analytics is required. So, analysis requirements are computationally intensive. So, here multiple nodes they are going to store the data in the clouds. The example for this is noise monitoring. So, here the sensors are kept in different locations. So, with the help of sensor the sound will be sensed and if it causes the uh, given threshold then there will be a warning message. So, these nodes are independent in nature. So, next comes IoT level 5. So, here multiple nodes are there, multiple end nodes are there. There will be one coordinator, we call it as a coordinator node. Here the coordinator node collects the data from the entry and it sends to the cloud. So, the data will be stored on in the cloud and further analysis will be done in the cloud and the application will be supported. The example for IoT level 5 is forest fire detection. So, here in the forest sensing of temperature, humidity or even carbon dioxide levels. So, all these parameters will be monitored and to monitor this there will be a coordinator as well as multiple nodes. 
so this coordinator will collect the data from the different sensors which are kept in different locations which delivers the values related with temperature humidity carbon dioxide etc these are the references thank you